Well, one of the best parts of the Golden Globes is, of course, the fashion, and it was definitely a night of hits and some misses. Mm -hmm. So Lori Bergamato, style director from Good Housekeeping Magazine, and George Brescia, fashion expert and author, are here to break down the most talked about looks of the night. Let's start with someone who turned a lot of heads, Jennifer Lopez. Yes. Lori, what did you think of this look? I died. I loved it. <laughs> oh, I loved it. And this is one we actually really agree on. I just thought in this John Batista Valley, she looked incredible. I don't know what kind of deal Jennifer Lopez has made with the devil, but it's really <laughs> working. She's drinking Ageless. from the fountain of youth. She Absolutely. really is. Jennifer Lopez, for me, is the quintessential star that understands every element that is important when you go to a red carpet. How she looks in it, yeah. to have her fashion moment, that the color looks good on her, that she is just giving you all of these elements put together creates perfection on a red carpet. And I love that normally we've seen J-Lo in something that's showing a lot of skin, super duper over the top sexy, but this wasn't that. Exactly. This was yeah. like a lady look. Because she knows where she is. Yeah. So yeah. she's at the Golden Globes and she's giving you glamour, Hollywood, yes. but relevant and modern at the same time. We yeah. were watching this together and I think we both just gasped yeah. when she Every came night. out. Loved yeah. it. Let's it's move on to another Jennifer. Sure. One yeah. of my favorites, George Jennifer Lawrence in Dior. Okay, so I understand that, you know, Jennifer Lawrence is Dior's girl. I think it's it's okay. It didn't like overwhelm me. Like I wasn't crazy in love with it. I liked it. I thought it was fine. I just think that Dior does so many cool things and could give her so much more of a look that's a little bit younger, a little bit more relevant. Like it's it's not bad. She, did, she didn't look 25. She just didn't hit it like out of the park yeah. in this dress. See, and I thought she did. I and loved I, her, but she, she looked she looked a little bit more mature. I loved her, and I thought the hair and makeup. Did you? I love, love the hair and makeup. I, I like the hair and makeup too. Hair and makeup it goes so point. well. And I actually, you know, I have a sweet spot in my heart for Jennifer Lawrence because she played Joy Mangano, who's on our cover, so we're going to say. Excuse me, from my hometown. See? It's like hilarious. a whole moment. Well, you know, and I do the HSN, so I'm in love with the Joy Mangano too. That's right. But <laughs> I have to say, I just think that the show part necklace was really cool. I just yeah. think she could have tweaked it and hit it out of the park instead of just being okay. All right, okay. we want to know if you think the next one hit it out of the park. Lori, Brie Larson and Calvin Klein Custom. Okay, I liked this, and I got it. I appreciate it, but I did not love it like I know Mr. George did over here. <laughs> but here's the thing for me on this. I think everybody knew she was going to win, and so why wouldn't you come out with something that really, you know, is a showstopper? This to me just felt a little Princess Leia Jabba the Hutt with the cutouts, that See, whole thing. See, for me, like gold know. metallic, huge trend on the red carpet, and she is letting you have it with the hardware on the neck, the cutout, it looks great on her, the gold on her skin with her hair, Calvin Klein custom, I, I loved it. I, I thought, thought it was hot. I thought the top was a little ill-fitting on that. Yes, I agree. I agree. One. I agree. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, what about oh, we love Kate our Hudson? Yeah. Who's going to take this? George. 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 I'm giving it to George because we should make positivity go first. Okay. Go for it. Here's the thing. I mean, look at her. I mean, talk about like luscious ice cream. She just looks delicious. And I think in this Michael Kors, you know, Kate Hudson has an amazing body. To me, she still looks classy. This is very modern. And I like this element on the red carpet. I think she does it very well. I think the dress is different, but different in a good way. And I think she looks sexy and modern and really cool. And I don't feel like this was a dress. This was like a three-piece situation, the choker, the car, I just, I love Michael Kors, I love Kate Hudson, I love Kate Hudson's abs. Yes, yeah, for me, right. I'm gonna leave it at that. Right, right. yeah. Okay, all right, and moving on, we're gonna move <laughs> on to Raji P. Hansen. Loved. Yeah, I mean, I loved it. I, I have to say, I think, you know, the white on her with her dark skin was beautiful. You know, the green earrings, the architectural bag, I thought it was cool. Um, for me, in a white dress, I think Laverne Cox did a better job. So, you know, if you're gonna do white, you really have to kind of know what's gonna be going on on the red carpet. So it was okay. Again, it wasn't like out of the park, crazy, amazing for me. I just feel like Stella McCartney can do no wrong right. and neither can she. And so, Taraji, she really owned it. She was working she that carpet. She sure. did. We have a lot more people to yeah. talk okay. about. We're going to be back and keep it right here. We'll be back with more fashion with George and Lori right after this.